Hello again, YouTubers. Welcome to what might be our first ever Magic the Gathering Open here on the Game Capital channel. We got a booster box of Magic Hour of Devastation. Now, normally I record videos um, at our office, um, but we have all the stuff at our store. It's actually made a little, a little random set here in our back room uh, of the store. So uh, my apologies, the lighting is not ideal and stuff, but Hopefully it does the trick for you guys and uh, all will be good. And uh, hopefully our polls will be good as well. I just did, uh, did record some uh, Pokemon openings for our Pokemon channel, the Poke Capital. And uh, to say the least, uh, those polls didn't work out too well for me. Uh, if you want to see those Pokemon videos, if by chance you're into magic and Pokemon, or you just like hearing me talk about anything and everything, uh, check out the Poke Capital channel, and uh, over the course of a few days, uh, you'll be able to see the Decidueye, Incineroar, and Primarina GX Premium Box Collection openings. Uh, but let's just get cracking here. Uh, I'm still learning the ropes here of magic. The nice thing here, though, is there's no code card. You need to like, get out of the way like I do for Pokemon, so that, that much is kind of nice. Uh, but still kind of learning the ropes, basically. So uh, bear with me. We got Merciless Eternal, Inferno Jet, Desert's Hold, Amit Eternal is our rare. And then we got a full art mountain to start. Now, uh, watching some of Elf Investments videos, it sounds like the full art lands can come in clumps. So let's see if we get a run of full art lands here right off the bat or not. It's possible. It's possible. Um, there's a few uncommons that are kind of of higher value. There's Hour of Promise. Hour of Devastation is the one that we want. And there's a non-full art. So uh, we, we just got the one single full art land there uh, consecutively. But maybe we'll find a stack of them somewhere else. Or maybe there's some different assortments or print runs already out there. Who knows? Who knows? We got Appeal Authority, Nessa's Defeat, and Dunes of the Dead for Uncommons. Refuse Cooperate is our rare. So uh, nothing all too fancy just yet. Obviously, we're very early here in the opening, but hopefully we can find some awesomeness. I, I put off opening these because the expected value of this set is just bad, but we do want to have some singles in the store for customers to rifle through in that too. So, you know, we got Chaos Maw, and we got Disposal Mummy, a common reverse. There's like common foil and a full art land. All right. An insect, which I think is... That none of the tokens right are valuable in the set, but I think I remember seeing that was the most valuable one, at least on TCG Player. Just FYI. Ruin Rat. That can ruin some people's days. Unconventional Tactics, Saving Grace, Omnis Sphinx, Giroux. I'm guessing the D is silent. With Eyes Open is the rare. And Full Art Swamp. All right, so there we got a couple of Full Art Lands in a row. Let's see if we can get at least three or four Full Art Lands in a row here then. Skip ahead. Unconventional Tactics again. Jace's Defeat. Claim to Fame. That's one of the three uncommons we are looking for. Hour of Eternity. And Hasep Oasis. Uncommon Foil. All right, so we've got a Desert Foil. And there is another Full Art Land. So, other than, you know, the one that we started with there, that could have been like an end of a run here. Well, we, we have found a stack here of Foil Land, or sorry, a Full Art Lands that clearly do not really seem to be shuffled at all. Adorned Pouncer is the rare, and another full art land. Four in a row. So yeah, I, I, I guess it checks out. It's not just like a few random cases. Well, it still could be, but uh, based on what I saw Rudy get on Alpha Investments and what we're getting here, definitely looks like uh, they, they definitely come in bunches. And another five in a row. We got abandoned sarcophagus there as well. But so far, nothing really worth writing home about. So so far I would have rather not have opened any of these packs, I guess. But uh it is what it is. A cursed horde, bane whip punisher, sand strangler, and grind to dust. And another full art land. My goodness, what was that six in a row? So we had the one. One, two, three, four, five, yeah, yeah. We got six full art lands in a row, seven out of nine total. That's that's kind of insane. So uh, perhaps the other two stacks are just going to have no full art lands, maybe? I, I don't know. Time will tell. Time will tell. Farm to Market, Megmerith, Sun Scourge Champion. There we go. Our 
of devastation. Very nice, very nice. Put that in our good pilot. Another full art land. Wow. And steadfast sentinel token. Well, I'm grabbing from, let's see, did I grab from that stack at all yet? I don't think so. All right. We good. We good. All right. I, I'm going to say we don't get a full art land in this pack. The streak is over. The streak is over. Gideon's defeat. Jace's defeat. Eternal of harsh truths. Wildfire Eternal Rare, Life Goes On Common Foil, and another Full Art Land. My goodness. I've, I didn't watch all of Rudy's openings list set yet, but uh, the one or two that I did, I don't think he got that many in a row, but wow. <laughs> Accused Horde, Unraveling Mummy, Dune Diviner, Nimble Obstructionist is the Rare. And a full art planes. Wow. So, again, that that was the first pack. And then we got a streak of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine full art lands in a row. Has anybody else out there gotten more than nine consecutive full art lands from a single stack of packs? Let me know. Let me know. If you've done it or if you've seen another video, feel free to link it. It might get marked as spam initially, but if I see it, I'll unmark it as spam. Because uh, I'm curious. And, uh... I noticed a couple of these here, um, that the fade, the fade is real. So I don't know what you can tell here, but th this card is black. And then the next three, they're not nearly as black. They're, they got some weird fade to them or something. I don't know. I don't know. That's, uh, it's kind of dis dis discerning, discerning, dis discouraging something. I don't know. Uh, but. Yeah, Supreme Will, that's one of the better uncommons. Farm to Market, Claim to Fame as well. So we got two of the three uh, better uncommons in the set. A Braid being the other one I would like to get a couple of, ideally. Uh, none of them are particularly expensive just yet. God of Heroes Gift and not a full art land. Um, they're the three that are like maybe 80 cents to... I, I, I'm pretty sure they're all under two bucks. Um... I like Rudy said in his videos too. I generally, in all my videos, I try to avoid giving any sort of dollar values because I know things change a lot over time. And I don't know if people are watching it the day I upload it or a week from now or a decade from now. Uh, things can be very different depending on when you watch these. So, Champion of Wits, not super expensive, but one of the more, uh, more liquid rares. I know uh, if, you're, if you're not aware, on TCG Player, within the last couple of weeks or so, they added a filter for best selling. So you can sort cards in any given set, card game, etc., by best selling on their platform. And I know Champion of Wits is one of the best selling cards in the set right now. Again, not one of the most expensive cards, but it's one of the most liquid as it is one that's turned over the most. Frain Sanity, that's one that I think started around two bucks and now is closer to five dollars. Enchant Player, at the beginning of each end step, Enchanted Player puts the top X cards of his or her library into his or her deck, where X is the number of cards put into the graveyard from anywhere this turn. And now there's another uh, blue card in Modern that I believe mills half of your opponent's deck, rounded down, so that can uh, make your opponent mill out just like that, just like that. So, very interesting. I got Planes and Dream Stealer. And I actually put those in my, like, better pile. I'm probably going to miss a few that are a little bit higher-ish price, but... Try to put the ones that are like a lot more desired and or valuable kind of to the side so we can kind of do some sort of random recap at the end. But I'm, it's really upsetting me that there's like so many faded looking cards. It's, I don't, I don't know what to feel. I don't know what to feel. If everyone knows what I should feel, let, let me know. Let me know because I, I don't know what to feel. Majestic Myriarch is our first mythic rare and that, that's not one that we want not one that we want basically i mean, we, we want mythics in general um but not not that one i guess so yeah moving on moving on let's keep this train moving let's see oh perfect resolute survivors devotee of strength ramunap ruins i have no idea that's how you say that ramunap there's multiple cards in the set called that uh, including ramunap excavator a rare one of the more valuable rares in the set uh but we're going with that and Earthshaker Kenra. And the new streak here of not full art lands continues. I wouldn't be surprised if we get no full art lands in this whole stack. And hopefully find another run of them um, in the third stack, I guess. Liliana's Defeat, Leave to Chance Rare, Mountain Adorned Pouncer. 
So we're about halfway through the box, maybe a little bit further. So we've got six packs left in this deck, including this one. There's 12 per, so yeah, before I show anything in this pack, we are exactly halfway through the box. Not too bad, not too bad. I, I don't know what kind of timing I want for this. Like I said, the, ooh, there we finally got in a braid. All right. Our Revelation, Island, and Zombie Token. Um, yeah, not sure what to expect for a time here. Like I said, first time doing a box opening of Magic uh, in on camera for I don't know how long. I, I don't know if I ever have, actually. I, it, I don't think I've done... Let's see. We got Lethal Stain, Hostile Desert, Forest. Um, train of Thought is just escaped me. Um, Rise of Eldrazi and I think Time Spiral or Planar Chaos, one of those. Those are the, like the last sets I actually opened before opening the storefront here. Um, we did open some of like every set in standard to get a binder started, but I uh, didn't do any of those on video because we were running short on time uh, before actually opening the store. Hour of Glory, Swamp. Uh, so we just kind of tore through a whole box of each standard set and just, you know, just got through as quick as we could, not on camera, so. But uh, this this might very well be the first time I've ever opened Magic on camera. Maybe I open Rise of Eldrazi on camera. If I did, it might be on this channel, actually. In which case, I may have lied at the start, saying this is the first time opening Magic on this channel. Uh, but safe I can say it's the first time opening Magic on this channel as the game capital. Previously, uh, again, the channel was Mino No 3. But we branded it to match our store name, because... It just seems like a logical thing to do, basically. Fervent Paincaster, Unconventional Tactics, Dagger of the Worthy, the Scorpion God. There we go. Wait, actually, no, sorry. The Scarab God. That's the one that I think we want to pull. I think it's the Scarab God. That's the, like, the best of the three gods in the set. At least as far as, you know, value and stuff goes. So, it's our second Mythic. Uh, we should be finding some more Mythic still. Hopefully... Uh, invocation will be awfully nice as well. Always love finding those naturally. Crypt of the Eternals. Oop, kind of off frame there. My bad. My bad. Rona's Last Stand. So indeed, uh, in the middle stack there, uh, we did not get any, 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 any full art lands, as was, you know, kind of expected. Let's kind of shrink down our common stack there so I can... Uh, keep the cards in frame of the camera with a little bit more ease. Sinius Striker, River Hoopo? Hoopa? I, I don't know. Overcome. Akatra's Last Mercy, Mountain Warrior. All right, so we're down to, what, 11 packs that should be? All right, we're, get, we're getting down there. And uh, we should hopefully, hopefully, get at least two more Mythics. Hope Tender and stuff. Mirage Mirror. I think that one's a couple dollars, maybe? I don't know. The, uh, so a lot of the cards in the set have been going up a bit, but the expected value of this set is still just not looking very good, which, again, is why I haven't opened these until now. I I'm opening these on Thursday after release, and we've had them since the Wednesday before release in hand. I could have opened for singles in advance, but it's like, it's just the singles value, is just, it's just not there. But like I said, we do want to get... At least a box or two open here. We'll probably open at least one more box, and you'll see this on this channel. Probably not immediately, because I'll probably space them out a little bit, even though I'll probably open them back to back. Uh, so, just keep that in mind. Pride Sovereign. But yeah, I want to get enough to at least, you know, get the commons and uncommons fully available in our binder and a decent selection of rares and mythics. So, G gotta have something for our local customer base to look at, you know? Resilient Kenra. Mountain Warrior. And so far, yeah, not 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 a lot of awesomeness. Not a lot of awesomeness. I, I'm underwhelmed so far, even with my low expectations coming into it. Torment of Hailfire, not an expensive card, but I it, it see it seems good to me with my limited knowledge, which is very limited right now. But we do have another full art land. I'm gonna put that one sideways in my pile, and uh, if, if we get a full streak here, one, two, three, four, five, six. And that one, so we could get seven in a row. We could end up with right around half the box being Florida lands if the rest all have them. If, if, we shall see. We shall see. Angel of God, Pharaoh, imaginary threats, riddle form, scavenger grounds, full art planes. So I, at least I, I think we're winning. 
uh, the expected pull rate of full art lands for whatever that might be worth. Supreme Will, okay, okay. Consign Oblivion, Tenacious Hunter, Razaketh, the Foul Blooded. And oh, the streak is over. So, uh, streak of two. Streak of two right there. That's a bit less. I'm gonna move these packs to there. And I'm sorry for those that are bothered by pack wrappers on the set. My apologies. I, I mean, like I said, I'm in the back room. I don't have a garbage next to me, and there'll be a lot easier to pick up off of the tape. Well, actually, I'm, I'll show you my setup here at the end. How about that? And uh, you can see what I'm working with. Corey the Beetle. Ooh, Crook of Condemnation, Vile of Inefficient. And there we go, there we go. The Scarab God come in through. All right. So there's our third mythic, and that is one that we do want to find. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and put him in a sleeve right away. And uh, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure I, I, I got it right. The Scarab God is the more desired one. The Scorpion God and the Locust God are... A lot lower in value desirability than the Scarab God right now. So, all right, so we got, as far as what you can get in this set, we got one of the possible home runs outside of, you know, foils. And that's right now the second most valuable card in the set behind Knuckle Bolas. So, not bad. All right, Merciless Eternal. There we go, another our Braid, Angel of Condemnation, and a foil, Full Art Mountain. I don't think they're particularly like, well, they're not bad value, and even if they even if they were like, you know, just penny cards, I, I still like getting them. I think they're cool. But anyways, Chandra's defeat, saving grace, Omnis Sphinx, and the Locust God. All right, and Mirage Mirror is a foil rare for us there as well. All right, so uh, we're we're, we're getting the hits here late, late in the opening. Um, uh, so Mirage Mirror rare. So yeah, we've got all three gods in this box. Wow. Scorpion God, Scarab God, Locust God. Boom, boom, pow. And that then, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, brings us to the last pack, last chance for glory. We've got Sinuous Striker, Vizier of the Anointed, Struggle Survive, and Ramunap Hydra. Was hoping for Ramunap Excavator, but uh, we get the Hydra. And then a Plains and another Insect token. So, I believe the expected in a box is four and a half Mythics. So we fell short there, getting the short end of the stick with four. But again, we got all three gods plus Majestic Myriarch. Change that Majestic there to uh, Nicobolus. And I'd be quite pleased. I'd be quite pleased. But uh, definitely could have been better. I guess it could have been worse as well. Um, some of the highlight rares there. Hour of Devastation and Frey Insanity. Champion Wits there just because of the desirability of it. Um, uncommons. We got two of each of the three that I think are the ones that like are maybe a little better than bulk rate anyway. It's nothing. No, um, no uh, Fatal Push type cards in this set, but it is what it is. And we got six foils here. Mirage Mirror for rare, a full art land. And three commons and one uncommon there with the Hasip Oasis. So hope you enjoyed this opening. If you did and you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Smash that like button. Visit thegamecapital.com. Uh, anything that we actually stock on TG Player will end up on there as well. So if you want to see some of what we have available, check that out. And if you are local here for us and you're in the Green Bay, Wisconsin area, look us up on Facebook, The Game Capital. And... Uh, Come on, come on into the store and check out our full selection. We only have a very small taste of what we have as far as singles and stuff goes on our website right now. So stop on in if you're in the area and check out our vast selection of Magic the Gathering singles and Pokemon singles. And we're working on growing the Yu-Gi-Oh stuff as well. But, you know. So again, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you next time for some more trading cards and collectibles and other goodness, I guess. See you later, everybody.